Well, Karen went to the rescue of an outdated living room. She shows us the simple ways you can breathe new life into a space in desperate need of a refresh. This large bungalow was very dated, but had lots of great features. One of the things we had to correct, though, was these old planters that were right here. They were clunky, dated, and added no extra functionality. By taking them out, adding these half walls and these benches, we got a place to sit inside the front hall and extra storage. We also made the stairway a little less wide, giving you lots of more functional space when you first walk in the door. A long area rug really elongates the space and we're able to keep an existing piece of furniture that the client loved. The wall behind me used to be clad in brick veneer. Again, very dated. So we removed that, kept the original fireplace, and did a new surround. As you walk down the stairs into what used to be a massive living room, it really didn't work because there was no cozy spot to sit. Now we have this little spot in front of the fireplace. And you might notice a TV in every room in this house. Our client loves to watch TV and we love that she does. So if your TV's on in your home, why not leave it exposed? Because this room is so large, we divided into three zones, our cozy living room, and then great seating over here in the bay window with hidden storage for all the photo albums. So they're accessible for family to enjoy them when they're over. The dining room is still big with a huge table. And here's a tip. When you have a chandelier like we do, we decided to do a big huge mirror behind and then the art on opposite ends so it's viewable from every vantage point in the space. 